All right. Can I be your GPS voice? Yeah, of course. Totally. Absolutely. Gotta, you know, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So does time start when I hit begin? Yeah. Time starts when you hit begin and it ends when you click the option to go home at the end before the cutscene. When I say go home. Got it. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, and go. Yay. We're doing the thing. Let's go. Okay. Let's be normal. So you want to immediately head up and up the ladder, and then from there to the northernmost point of the Penrose. So all the way to the top, you want to head straight for the cryopod. On the cryopod keypad, you want to input uh, like a fucky Y. <laughs> I think so it's like make this. a Y shape, and then it has the leg. Yeah, that perfect. I barely remember that. And then you want to stand here for eighty nine years while the cryo opens. We look for our soup. There we go. I'm trying to get used to X on interact because I want it to be on square, and it's not. I think. I mean, we can always swap it. It's what it is. I'll get used to it. Uh, from here, you want to take the door to the right of the ladder. That's the one with the tape on the console. And you want to grab the tape from the console. Not that one. To the right of the ladder. Oh, wrong one. Yep. I do this all the time. <laughs> all right, this one to the right of the ladder. Yeah, to the right of the ladder. Uh, and on the red console, there's a, a tape. You want to take that? Take both items with you to the airlock. So out this door, head down, and then it'll be the door on the left. You can interact. Uh, so using items and key objects in this game is weird. Uh, if you, before you click on that, go to your menu. Just go straight to your menu, combine the objects and click use. It's faster than clicking directly on that keypad. And you can do this with all of your key objects. You just have to point at the specific thing that you would be interacting with otherwise. So Got you can it. skip whole menuing sections by not clicking on the object directly and just using the item from your menu. Interesting. Yeah. This part just click forward uh, through the first person segment. I'm sure you know how to get to the hole. The hole? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think you can split. Your splits are different than mine. Because you're off Penrose. Oh, yeah. I am. Oh, wait. No, I was going to... Uh, I was making Penrose. I'm going to split when I hit the book. Okay, cool. So you're going to mimic mine? Yeah. Okay. To, to a degree. I love this unskippable cutscene of Hole. Hole... This, yes, the hole that was secretly dug. I also, I want to agree with Winter real quick. You got off Penrose very quickly. Great job. When I got into the snow, I was like, am I supposed to, I was like trying to move like a walking sim, but I was, yeah. I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be clicking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only one where you have to click to move forward. It's so goofy. Except oh, for you also have to click forward in the holes. Yes, in the hole. In the hole, like Silent Hill 4, you have to click forward to crawl. Uh, and this is another one. You don't have to get all the way on the desk. From here, if you click directly on the book, it'll suck you into the dialogue. And that's where I normally split once you pick up that book. Synchronicity. All right. From here, you want to grab the key card off the lobby window and head to the right through that door. It'll ask you to uh, use the key. Use it, of course. From here, you want to go up and then immediately right in the first hallway. And then keep moving right. And then keep moving right. <laughs> okay. It Room is the first safe. This one has a static uh, solution, and you're going to need to enter it twice in the run. It is 204512. Whoops. 
floaty. Two oh four. Five one two. Yeah, now you see how easy it is to fuck it up when you're going quick, huh? It's so floaty. <laughs> Uh, grab the key card from here go back out to the hallway you were just in and go all the way up to the top where star is ignore her and just keep going into the classroom and into the hole from there oh oh wait i thought you said go up there it goes all it was, the way up <laughs> it wasn't giving me the prompt yeah it does that all the time that's going to be your number one hassle with the console point of this game is the doors are just as floaty as the interaction point Holes are worse than doors. Oh. I will say that. Why is the hole rifled? I don't know. That's a great question. Okay. Up. Okay. From here, go directly to the elevator. So left. No, no, no. Not yet. Whoops. You have to get the service hatch key from the elevator before you go this way. Uh, and the key is sitting, like, next to the buttons. So you have to call the elevator down. And then you have to stand in front of the door and wait for the to come down. And then you have to open, yep. Uh, under the buttons is a key. You don't have to enter the elevator to interact with that panel or the key. You can just grab it from the door, too. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now go down the hallway you were trying to go down. Okay. And from here, you want to go all the way to the top and interact with the hatch for the lock picking puzzle. Fun. Lock picking puzzle is RNG every time. So I can explain how to do it, but it's going to be up to you to figure it out. Well, do Press. I just do it once? Yeah. See where it is. Line all of the pistons up with the line at the bottom. You had really good RNG with that puzzle. Three times a charm. To the right? right from here, to all the way, door all the way on the left. Grab all the right. key off the table. No, no. Uh, on this the door. Okay. No, not the note. It'll be uh, on the left. Yes. This. Okay. And then from here, back in the hallway, you want to take the right hallway door. Yeah, that's true, LaSalle's. From here, all the way down the hall, through the door on the bottom. And Best. then from here, door on the left, yep. Grab the key card off the table. And then go back to the room you were just in and use it on the door. Use. Use. I Thank love you. doors in this game. You want to head to the bottom and through that door. You're going to have to do twice. We're good. Okay. And to then you want to move left. left. No, actually, to the right. To the right. Yeah, I was like, I think this is right. Key card. Yeah. Yeah. I always forget about this one. And now down? And now no left. All the okay. way left. And uh, down at the end of the hall. You want to grab the key from the toilet. The toilet key. Obligatory toilet key. And now you want to keep moving left. Girl. You just sort of get a sense of where the interaction points spawn. You want to keep moving all the way left. Keep moving left, because now you have the key to this door. In the next room, you want to take the upper door. And pass through it. You're going to get yelled at, and she, she hits sometimes. Uh, grab the key, and then head right. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, up in this room. 
Right. right. <laughs> yep, immediate right. This one is always a little spicy. And then uh. you want to take the room on the right at the top and combine on the butterfly box. Don't interact with the box. Uh, how do I quick get so into the cl menu? Click on it and then get into the menu from here, your normal menu button. So I think that's, there you go. Yeah. So now you can get the radio. Which is just walk inside, grab it off the table. And then it'll ask you for frequency 160. 160, got it. And you have to interact with the door in order for it to input. It won't open on its own. Okay. So radio puzzles in this game for the tree safe and the sword safe are fixed seed RNG. Uh, so it will always be on a specific band of frequencies, but not the specific same frequency every time. So the one for the tree safe is on, will be somewhere between 175 and 195 on your radio. Uh, so I always, on my way to the safe, which was in the room on the left where you got the key card. So two doors down on the left. Uh, in that room, while I'm interacting with the safe, I will start cruising to the right, and you'll know you'll find the right frequency when in... No, in the... Act you have to be in the menu for this. Oh, got you. Yeah. Uh, it'll show you visually that there's, like, in the radio part. Where is the radio part? There it is. Okay. There. So it'll say at the bottom, no data feed. It'll go, when that part goes away, that's the frequency you need to pay attention to. And right. it'll be a five digit code. That's what you enter into the safe. One, six, four, eight, four. All right. One, six, four, eight, four. One, six, four, eight, four. Beautiful. Now this is your key card for the elevator. Uh, from here, you want to exit this room, head to the right, and then down. And then you want to pass through these halls. Uh, when you dead end at the bottom, you want to make a left. Back in the elevator, you can use this on the panel. You want to go to the third floor. Uh, you have to insert it into the keycard slot. Oh. Yeah. It, they are very precise with their puzzle inputs. And then click the blue button to go. And then from here, you can just look at the exit. It. This is timed. You can't really do anything. It'll open when it's ready to let you out. <laughs> Is there a frequency I should be going to? Nah, not right now. Uh, we're going to be doing key solutions. Tree puzzle is after Mina. So we don't need radio for a while. Okay. Let's All right, go. move to the right. From here, head down. And then you're going to want to take the door on the left. Nope, left. In this hallway, uh, this is where we'll be putting all of our stuff. Next hallway, you want to unlock the door at the top. And then head back down. The door across from the one you came in through. So, so middle door, left side. That one. Grab the key card off the body. Now it's time for the pulp puzzle. Just lower right. Bottom right. And I think I remember this one. Let me see if I can do it. Look at you go. 
That's right. That's the one I know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're pumping already, Winter. All right, now you want to jump in that hole that you just cleared out. The hole! Oh, this one, right? That's the stairwell. Yeah. So we'll be coming out there later. Oh. Grab the water key on your way through. And then out the door. You want to immediately head up to the top and grab the VHS out of the next room. It's that first item at the top of the room. And then leave. Then uh, You want to hit the middle room, too. And then you want to grab the key card off the table. Oh. You also want to set down two items. Your flash, your uh, photo and the plate of eternity. You don't uh, need the photo. There it is. Okay. Okay. Now you can go to the bottom right. And there should be another key card in there. Or like blank key or something. Yeah. Thing at the end of the room. And then now the where? last door, bottom left, is our ladder. We can leave. Nice push. Nice push. <laughs> so from here, you want to head back through the middle door on the right-hand side. Go through this room. Don't worry about interacting yet. Don't worry about it. You want to go straight across. And you can do either of these. Uh, the first door is the VHS tape. The room at the back is something else. You need to do both of them. We'll grab VHS on the way back. Yeah. In this room is the tree safe. I lied. We did need the tree safe. Uh, this band is in the 200s. In 146, I think. No, it's in uh, 220 to 250. That's a different code. Uh, I gotcha. There's six different safes in this game. So this is the key. And it should give you a code. We do not enter this code in. Six, six five. five six eight five. So what you want to enter in is R S R F S. Yeah, I'll have to uh, get that chart when I'm doing runs. Yeah, the decoder chart is essential information. You just want the key card here. Don't grab the eyeball. Don't grab the eyeball. The eyeball is just a camera to take screenshots with. Yeah. And now you and use the cassette tape. And this will give you the gold key. All you do is walk forward and interact yeah. with the bench. We enter the Chilla's art game. Mm hmm. The interaction point on this is much further away than you'd think. So don't be afraid to spam interact the second you get close to that shit. And I've noticed that when it does the camera forward, like zoom in to the interaction point, it'll usually put your cursor over the thing you need to interact with. So be careful. All right, where are we heading now? Uh, right. Up one door to the right hand side. Again, you can do either of these doors in either order. First door and last door in this hallway. This is the one with the 10 millimeter socket head. You want to grab it off the gurney. And then at the back is the incinerator. Yay, that's a uh, five left, five right, eight left. Yep. All right. Please open door, thank you. No. Beauty full. And once again, as it does all the zoom stuff, it'll just click you forward.
All right, we got key. All right, now you can head back out. From here, you want to go into the save room, which in that main hallway where we were going left and right, you want to go up instead. There's two things you want to do in there. You want to grab the shotgun and chuck it in the item box for your mina fight. And you also want to do the blank key puzzle. Which is further up. Alright. Oh, it's already in there? Okay. <laughs> you did that so fast. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you, you didn't even process it. Uh, once again, you have to interact with things specifically, so you have to click on the disk drive, and then you have to, like, click on the define a pattern. Oh, uh, let's scroll down. I hadn't been scrolling. There it is. Okay. Uh, so, you want to start in the, uh... This one? Middle. Yeah. Click, and then down. Left, up, up. Down, left. Yeah, no, not quite. Uh, no. No, not quite. <laughs> right? No. Define pattern. There we go. Yep, and then down. And then right up. Down, down. There you go. Now print it. Print it and ship it. Oh. Now don't forget to grab your key card. Grab the key card. I have walked away without this several times. All right, we have all the key cards. Yes. And the now 10 millimeter here, socket. You want to leave, head out the left. You want to keep going straight and down. Because we've unlocked this door, this is our fastest route. And then from here, hang a right. Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry. Uh, left. My directions got a little fuzzy. Uh, jump down the hole. Oh. Oh wait, no. Sorry, we forgot to grab the socket. Oh, well, I did Go have back the. Upstairs. I have the yeah. socket. I don't have the wrench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to grab the other part of the wrench. Oops, wrong door. It's at the bottom left, right? Yeah, bottom left. So the one door we didn't go in in that hallway has the wrench in it. So uh, it's just the top right of this hallway. Get out of my way. Or not. <laughs> that, no, the left there. Oh, okay. Trickle, I know, I'm so sorry I bamboozled them. There it is. Okay. Uh, good news is there's a heal here if you want to combine your items and then use it real quick. Nah, who needs that? Okay. Now you can jump in the hole. Or take the ladder, either way. Or take the ladder, whichever. Either works. Uh, you want to go to the topmost room, hang a left, and go through that room. Now, for optimal speed, you want to do the combining on the object. Right. And this fan is the most finicky input because you have to, like, point your cursor at the top left corner of the fan to use the item. Okay, now you have all your key cards once you grab this. And you can go back to the room with the big door in it. If I can remember where it is. So you want to go back out to this hall. Use the ladder at the bottom left. Once you go up the ladder, it'll be the middle door on the right hand side. Okay. And then it should spit you out in the room you need to put all the key cards in. Boom! In the next room, you want to grab um, a couple items. The shotgun I'll shells and the shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun shells, the shotgun, and the healing patches if you want the safety. Who wants because there's safety? only one heal in the arena. Shells are on the couch. Whoops, wrong shells. Okay, I can put them away. Now you have extraneous pistol ammo. Uh, put that away. 
Get shotgun. Okay, so the lineup for Mina. What you want to do, immediately rush her and push her into the doorway. So that way she's facing the camera. And forgot. what you want to do is wait to. for her to open up her face hatch. You should heal before you go down that hole. I'm serious. The heels are on the left. <laughs> because uh, she will barf on the floor and this is tricky and you haven't saved. So bad with the menus. Okay. Use. Use both of them. Use them all. <laughs> They're all used. Go. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to push her, her into that doorway. Yeah, push her to the door, then walk away, and then start shooting when she opens the mask, right? Okay, you want to wait for the liquid to start pouring out. It can't, if there's like a frame where she starts to leak, uh, you want to use that. And you want to lather, rinse, repeat. Just push her right back into that corner. Uh, I already reloaded. Get in the corner. And this is why I had you heal. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was still very quick. All right, we're done with Mina. Beautiful. Don't forget to split. There you go. Uh, this is just walk down the hall to the library. Walking some time. More Chila's art. We love Chila's art. We do. In this house, we respect them. All right. All right. This next section is the back and forthness. Yeah, I see. I'm going to grab thermite and keycard and then stow them immediately. Yep. You want to keep your flashlight, though, once you get that. Don't put that shit down once we get it. All right, it's so, bottom right or bottom? Bottom right. Yep, okay. grab the keycard and the therm. Store everything else but the keycard. You don't need weapons. Okay. All right. To the right. Let's go. I'm sorry, left. <laughs> my, this is why I wrote things north, south, east, west because my rights and lefts aren't good. <laughs> you can say Down east. You can say east, west. So. Yeah, go inside, sixth floor. All right. You want to head all the way around to the elevator hallway. So head to the right and through the danger room. Pass to the south. There should be three screamers in here. Don't worry about them. To the right or to the bottom? Bottom. All right. Uh, in this room, there is another way through. And then this hallway, you want to take the middle door on the bottom. The one with the blood. And then you want to hole immediately. Hole. Oh. Out of this room and straight forward. Uh, the next room that you're going to go into is kind of a danger room. There's a fuse on the far side of it, and you have to get past both enemies to grab it. Nice. Okay, you want to immediately right and up to where the ladders are. So, up as far as you can when it no longer lets you Okay, now left. Left. Yep, yep. And out the door on the left. You want to go up to the fifth floor. In this lobby, you want to take the door on the bottom left and For solve the fuse. the fuse puzzle. I know this one too. Use the fuse. Beautiful. Back down to the seventh floor. Same same way you came. Let's go. Okay, the goal here is to take the elevator that you just powered up. So down, all the way down. 
and then left and into the elevator heading down. To the eighth floor, gotcha. Yes. And there's two Damn things it. you want to grab on the eighth floor. You want to move to the left and in here grab the shutter gate handle off the door. Now double back and go all the way around the hallway as if you're going to the ladders, but you want a pit stop in Adler's room on the way. So up from here, down the hall. In the next lobby, you want to take the door on the right on the top of the room. Grab the flashlight, turn around and leave. You should be able to interact with the door if you walk close enough to it. You don't have to equip it here. Now you want to go out to the ladders and unlock this door. Nope. Oh, that's the elevator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To the left. Uh, from here, you want to go to the seventh floor. We're going to use the shutter gate handle, which means we're going to go to the hallway on the far right. Oh, she's smoothing. Yeah, the shield's smoothing. So down? Up, down. And then right in this hallway, use it on the shutter gate itself. Not where you think it goes. <laughs> okay, in this room, you want to grab the key card. Head back to the... Um, Elevators, so down. You want to head up to the sixth floor. Move to the right. Nope. There we go. We know. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Okay, to the right. To the right. Uh, head more right. There you go. Actually down. <laughs> Wait, now I'm confused. Okay, there we go. In oh. here. <laughs> In here. I thought this was ladders for some reason. In and the room then on the right, right, you want to yeah. use your flashlight. Yeah, get the tape. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, tape is over here? All the way around and up. Okay. There's the tape. Mm -hmm. And now go back out to the hallway and keep following it up. Oops, up. And to the left. And in this hall, immediately up. Grab the thing. From here, you want to head to the seventh floor. Uh... Fastest route would be to take the ladder, yeah, because we don't want to hit the extra rooms. You want to walk all the way around. Oop, nope, nope, nope. Wrong room. That's all right. Down. The sixth floor's layout throws off the groove for the other two floors. So it's hard to get a sense of the way out of this place when you're learning to run. Yeah. All the way to the left, into the dark room. I'm gonna grab the island key off the desk on the right hand side. Turn off your flashlight in here. Okay, good. Okay. Now, all the way to the right. You want to go up to the hallway with the ladders. Go up through here. At the end of the hall, make a left. And you want to use the key on the middle door. This is the island. Uh, push through the Calibris. Use your radio to reduce the radius of your attack. So that way you can interact with the puzzle. We're good. Oh. It's fine. Okay, All now. All right. So from here, you want to be on the sixth floor. Uh, so go this uh, way, probably. 
This is personal preference. You can take ladder or elevator, but you do eventually want to be in the elevator hallway because that's where the workshop is. So it's sixth floor? Yes. So this is floor in here. All the way to the right. Don't go down. No, 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 no. Workshop, not post box. Oh, okay. Not down. <laughs> yeah, not that door. I hate that door so much. Pass through here. The workshop is the room on the top of the room here. So, there's a there, but it's a little spicy. Baton always wants to try something. Once you fix your tape, you can insert it here and tune into channel 142. This will give you Swan Lake, uh, rest in pepperonis, VOD. You might get muted even though this is in the public domain. You said 142? Mm -hmm. From here, you want to go to the eighth floor. So take the elevator down. Yeah. You want to go talk to Fall. Time for mommy. All the way to the eight. One more down. Oh, uh, whoops. I thought this was eight. Oh, I do this all the time. <laughs> all right. Now you can make a right, a left, and up. She'll give you the key to the hummingbird office. Now, fun fact, if you click away from this, it resets the animation. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, right, where are we going? In the elevator hallway, you want to go all the way to the right and up. Use the key card on this door. There will be Calibri in the far room, but this is where you get your post office key. You also need this Adler key. No, I don't want to read that. Uh, flashlight recommended. You want to go across and up. Very brave. Very mindful. <laughs> Barely survived it, but it's okay. All right, now you want to go uh, up to the stairwell and up to the post office box on the sixth floor. So hang a left, far side of the hall. Six is post office? Yeah. Yep. And it's box 512. All right, now you want to go back down to the eighth floor. Just... <laughs> I know. And not only the eighth floor, you want to be in the elevator hallway, so you got to walk all the way around the eighth floor. Wonderful. Because that is the library. But this will give you the astrolabe, so it's worth it. All right, eighth floor. Mm -hmm. Top room here. Oops, middle room. Mm -hmm. And then this is the maze puzzle. Uh, so it's right, right up, left up, left down, left down, right down, right down, right up, right up. Okay, now you take this to Adler's office, which is on this floor in the stairwell hallway where we got the flashlight. So right there? No, uh, keep going uh, straight through upward. here. Close, though. Close. Close. It is the upper that room one. here. And these two will usually be standing in front of it because they're assholes. Okay, now you want to interact with the astroloid puzzle. Uh, outer ring, 
you're going to want in the lower left. So two clicks. One click in the... One click... Nope. Left for the... One click left for the doubles. So two clicks from there. There you go. And then for the right hand, it's... For the inner, it's to the right. There you go. Sorry. Explaining that was a mess. Yeah. The directions are not good. <laughs> the directions are not good for that puzzle. It needs, like, picture. Just picture. <laughs> Uh, and then this is the key to the admin elevator, so you can just leave. It's to the left? Yep. Oh boy, that was close. How does it feel to be in excavation already? Feels great. I think that's where I was supposed to split. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's where I wanted to split was right there. Liminality. Alright, in this first save room, when you get the chance to, get the flare gun and the extra flares, put them in the item box, and grab your one thermite for Thickalis. You want to make a left, and then a right, and then a left, like a good soldier. Left. Right. Well, this last left is more of a down. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it is the left option when you're coming out of, you know. Right. All right. Uh, keep the flashlight. No, put the flashlight away. No, keep the flashlight. Uh, keep flashlight. Take. Thermite. One thermite, and then you want to put the flare gun and the extra flare shells in the item box. Oh, they're over here. I got you. Yes. These are useful for Falk. They're most useful in phase one and two of her fight, uh, but they do help if you're out of other ammo. Alright. Alright, take the elevator down. What a thrill. <laughs> Hey, this is not a ladder. What a thrill. It's the closest thing we have to a long ladder, okay? <laughs> Alright, you want to go up, and then up. And then you want to dance with the group around the hole. Yeah, there's a heel on the top left, right? Top left, there's two, at least two heels. I recommend grabbing them. Yes. <laughs> Touch the hole first, though, so that way you don't waste time. Right. Touch panel at hole. Now go get your heels. Okay, this should Mina be. Mina will shoot at you, but if you're bent over, she can't hit you. Nice. Uh, nice. Nice. All right, let's see you all. Use both of them. <laughs> also, equip your thermite. You no, know, you equip the flashlight. My bad. You need to do that first, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can we go down, please? Thank you. Go down, they will please. will knock you off the interaction, yeah. Time for more hole! Hole. Oh. Hole! And, uh, this is the beach segment that's optional. Feel free to just stretch your hands for a minute and a half. You can also try to climb the sheer wall, or go look at the king in yellow, or just kind of do whatever you want. Notice that the the negative space here looks like a hooded figure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Does that mean we're at the dog park? <laughs> that was the sheer wall if you wanted to climb it. Yeah. I want to walk over here, though, and see if I can, like, interact with book. If you click on the hole, it'll it'll give you book prompt. I can crouch, right? Just click on it. Is that not hole? You might be too close to it. I thought that was hole. Are, are you the furthest right you can be? Probably not. It's not a big deal. You want to be as far right as you can. And no. then the hole will technically, reveal itself to you. Technically, I don't want to be as far right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's so valid. Where was the hole? Yeah, I thought the hole was that one back there. See, it's not a big deal. Where, it's just the beach. The king? It's just the beach. Where's the king? I want to see the boy. We get to see island. You know, that's so valid. I do like island. All right, here we go. Okay, All cool. All right, so left uh, through the we'll dark be in room. We'll the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go left through the the dark room. Grab the ring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Immediate left. Okay, these are the doors that are weird. Yeah, you these wanna... are the the fucky wucky doors. Yeah, get out of these doors as fast as you can. You want to go up. Up, okay. Yep. This passcode is top left, top middle. Middle row right. And then mirrored on the bottom. Yes. And then you want to immediately go left and down. Grab the ring. Yep. Grab it, grab also, it, grab push that storage because it's very satisfying. Let me go. Whew, that was uh, close. Grab the doll in this room off the table. The okay, right. Keep going. Okay, we good? Left through the Calibri. Oh, great. I know. Uh, the door will be kind of at, there you go. Okay, uh, grab incense. The incense. Yeah. And then all Do the way to the. Don't double back. Don't double just back. Just keep going forward. Oh, uh, just keep going right. Okay. No, no, sorry, sorry. I meant like, do not double back through that danger room. So out of this room, keep moving. Yeah, forward. keep moving forward, straight through the hallway. And then straight through again. You want to go in the room on the right? Grab the ring. And then from here, uh, equip your thermite and go fight Thickles. You know what you're doing. <laughs> uh. Gaping hole. Oh! Come here, Thickless. Thickless Cage. You chonky boy. <laughs> so free. Thanks, Isa. <laughs> now, this is very important. In the next room, you want to set down both rings. Okay. Don't forget to do this. You can yeah. also set down the doll part. Uh, we don't doll. need that right now, so you, it, it's probably better to set that down. Uh, and keep the flashlight. Re yeah, re-equip your flashlight, because we're going to go immediately into the path of sacrifice. Um, Out to the right. I wish I had heels. All There's right. one on the way. Up? Through this room? No, through this okay. room to the right. There will be uh, an item to pick up and a heal in this room. Wait, wait, this room? or Okay, yeah. 
ring and then this no this are shotgun shells okay uh head up there will definitely be a heal somewhere along this path <laughs> uh this is maze there's a heal in here don't worry about it yeah i see it there one right there yep that's the safe one to take uh, how do I get to this? Up. Up and left and down. And then, yep. And you're going to want to use the heal before you leave this room. Yeah. Because Rusty Key is the dangerous maze where we're going to have friends. Beautiful. All right, you can All head right. out here and to the left and now up through the room you were thinking of going through. This will spit you into a room with a ladder. Take the ladder and start heading up. When you hit the hub room that looks familiar, hang a left and go to the incense puzzle. From here, go right. I know, and then up. up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Incense. Uh, yeah, and this will give you love. Plate of love, okay. All right, down and left. And then move right. In this room, you want to grab the big doll off the middle thing. Yeah. Now you can go down the ladder. Uh, at this point, it's personal preference. You can either use the rustic key on the door on the left or go do the ring puzzle. Grab the doll part. Make sure you combine it with the other doll piece you have. Uh, this? This one is a K-shape. Okay, uh... There should just be the one key item in this phase. And it's plate. Plate. Plate of sacrifice. What's up, friends? Y'all just stay at the top part, okay? You just stay right up there. I love it when they do that. Nice jukes. One hit and one fence? That's Let's go. beautiful. Alright. Now where are we going? Alright, to the right and straight across to go do the ring puzzle! Ah! So, interact with the item box, drop all of the plates in your inventory. You can also drop your flashlight. You want to grab the two rings and any doll parts in here. Uh, where is the damn... So they're all at the end. I should have known. All okay. right, cool. From here, interact with the door. Top left and then the square at the bottom right. The square hole. Yeah, this is the square hole. You want to head okay. down and then down. But that's, the next room... That's will, the square uh, hole. ...will absolutely be up. <laughs> Regent ring on the first finger. Wedding ring on the wedding finger. And then serpent ring on the pinky. No. And you, please. Now here's okay. backtracking. You want to, from here, go back out to the hallway and jump down the hole where we fought the Galissa guy. So you want to go up. And then out of this room. And then more up. Why is she going to be right in my way? She always is. 
Oh. You want to go up from here. Why is he still here? Because you used the thermite. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, and not... you want to go up and interact with this. Uh, uh, top two on the left. Middle. And middle right. And then everything but the center on the bottom. Yep. I remembered it halfway uh, through. All right. There you go. I always think of that one as being like Waluigi's goatee. <laughs> And it helps me remember. Wow! Yeah, it's wonderful. So on your way back out of here, grab all of your plates from the item box. You can also, from there, scroll to... The yeah! Beautiful. Okay. Right. Wanna go right? Yeah. Yep. And then up. And then more up. And then you want to go up through the danger room. Hang a right into the room with the Calibris. Mina, why are you right in my way? It usually is. She got a puke all up in my way. And head right again. Right. There you go. And this should spit you out immediately in the hallway where you need to deposit all this stuff. Nice. The downside of doing it this way is all the horrible sounds persist until we're done with this puzzle. That doesn't bother me. Horrible sounds is just my life. True. Everybody listen to Soul Mass. Yeah, yeah. Go download the new album on Bandcamp. Go listen on <laughs> streaming. Uh, promise is here. They remembered. Congrats, you made it to the fake ending. How does it feel? It feels great to be at the fake ending. Sub hour fake ending! Right, there's the fake ending. Now we're at the Penrose checklist sequence. Uh, from here, you want to go up the ladder. And then you want to go to the cockpit first. So, up to the ladder, and then immediately down. Get, 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 get on the ladder. Get, get on the ladder. Oh, sir, please. <laughs> you want to interact with the green console in the cockpit all the way at the bottom. I'm sorry, the what pit? The cockpit. Ah, oh, okay. The manifest. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Okay. Yep, Looking yep. good. Looks good Out to of me. this room, you want to go uh, Left. into the room on the right. Not this one. This one's optional. Yeah, this one's not right. Go up and then right. Yeah, the room with the tape console. You want to interact with the tape console again. To the right of the, yeah. Well, yeah, ladder room. We gotta look at the red monitor now. Mm, yep, yep, that's it. That's monitor's a nice, red. Nice monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to go up. Uppies. And then left, we want to look at the pipes. Mm -hmm. Pipe's still there. Yep, those are some pipes. Go look at the cryopod, and then you can talk to Ariana. You can walk straight forward to the pod itself, and it's way faster than walking to the corner. Hooray! We're at Rot Front! But first, we must compartmentalize our trauma. Actually, I won't go back. We're still at Penrose. Go in the door. Compartmentalizing trauma. Why am I so slow? Oh, it's a cutscene, that's why. Okay, Let's go. Come here down and jump in the hole. Split at the hole is where I wanted to split. Oh, I can't stop now. Hole. 
All right. Uh, yes. Beach two. Go get on that boat. I usually split when it uh, takes over my camera. At the yeah, boat. I'm not doing that split. I, I put I did my split when I jumped in the hole. Listen, the all hole run is the optimal run. I understand. <laughs> I get it. Had to make it the whole. Listen, I am not joking when I say that one of these days I'm going to make a meme splits that's just whole, 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 go home. <laughs> every <laughs> hole. Just every, and it's going to be every hole is a goal, spelunking percent. All right. All right, out of here. To the right. We're going to get the classroom key again, so up. As far right as you can go. It will dead end in the classroom. Door, please. The password is 204512. Um, please. No. Alright, back in the hallway, you want to go as far up as you can. Except this time there will be hostels. Spicy. A little spicy action. Just a little meat, it's still good. Let me in the door. Let me in the door. That didn't work the way I wanted to. Yeah, sometimes pushing the stork makes the others aggro. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh! I, I push her anyway. It's satisfying. <laughs> Alright, in this hallway, you want to go bottom right. Go straight for Issa's shop. First door, the password is 560524. You want to go through this room until Issa melts and then pick up the death card off the altar. Go out the door at the bottom of this room and then just back out the hallway you came in to the main lobby. At which point you want top left. Top left. Mm -hmm. Very important, take the first door. Grab the SMG and the extra ammo. Take them further up with you to the item box. Deposit the gun and the ammo and the tarot card. Grab your flashlight and equip it. Whoops. All right. Let's go. Back to the hallway. You want to go into the third door on the top. On the top. Okay. Yeah. Don't touch me. Take the ladder up. You want to take the door in the middle on the bottom. And then the light in front of the object. Yeah. Uh, the object is right next to the red glowing spot at the bottom. There you go. Beautiful. And you did it without aggro. Look at you go, gamer. To the right. Uh, top right. Yeah. Grab the wheel. Once you have the wheel, you want to go back to the main hub room where the dial puzzle is. She tried. She tried and she missed! You're schmoovin'! Jukes! Alright, where are we going? Right? Alright. Yeah. Back to the lobby. I'm gonna get hit by all three. Okay, there we go. 
Now there's a movement pattern you can do that's consistent that makes that hallway free. All right, straight to the right. Yep, you want to use the hand wheel on the fire and then go all the way to the top, grab the disc, and double back to the save room. You're going to so want to gonna... use it on the computer where you picked up the SMG. Yeah, because we're going to trans our mitts. We're going to trans our mitts. Let's go. Let's go! We're trans in the mitts. First we transed our gender. Now we're transing our mitts. Uh, transmit 43 and magpie. Sometimes magpie is selected for you. We were not lucky. And then back out antenna and you want to point it at antenna 43. And then whenever it's convenient for you, tune into channel 125. But there will be several Calibri rooms on the way to where you need to do this, so don't worry about having it done right now. It's All almost right. it's almost there anyway. Okay. Nice. To the back left. to the fire hallway. So to the back right. Back to the right. Okay. All the way across. We don't need the radio for a while. We can turn it off. I was just putting a 145 just because. Nice. Grab the acetone on your way through here. And then meat grinder time. Into the meat grinder? Yeah! I found that if this box is giving you a hard time, sometimes highlighting the box for the pickup on the auto injector next to it will make it show up. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, you want to uh, go through this room, grab teeth. the card. Yeah, grab the teeth card. Uh, is it here? Yeah. There it is. Teeth card, got it. Alright, out this door. Hang a right. And you want to go in the door on the top. Now, in the item box, drop Whoops. off your flashlight. Doing it. And drop off the tarot card. That's right. I don't need no card. Mm -hmm. Take everything else with you. Take the ladders all the way up. It will spit you out into a Calibri room. You want to go to the left through this room. It's kind of a blind navigation. Do your best. First room on the top. And you want to put A on. Uh, it's bottom of the locks, two, and then one at the end. And then back in the hallway, you want to go all the way to the left. Don't worry about any of the other rooms except for the one at the end. Y'all are being spicy. Stop it. Red no, we don't need the, I didn't mean this one. We don't need the red disc. Oh, okay. I, I meant the door at the end. Oh, this door. Oh, this door. Yes, yes, yes. From here, you want to go up in the next hallway into the room with the magpie box. This is where you need your frequency to be correct. It'll be 125. Grab both items and then go back the way you came to the ladders. So hang a right. Pass all the way down the hall. Oh yeah, this Bottom. room, this room, down. Yeah, this room's spicy. Okay, we're good. Ladders all the way down. And then from here, you want to go all the way to the left. Eventually, at some point on the left, there will be a door with a silhouette burned into the wall next to it. You want to enter that door. Take the top route. It's always safer. We're this good. Door. We're good. Let me in. <laughs> grab the developer fluid. If you want, you can also grab this ammo. Do not go that way. Uh, back out, and then to the left. Door. Uh, 
door, please. Uh, second door on the top is the one you want. And you want to combine the photo developer and the tank on this keypad. This will give you a tarot card. This is not your last one, but this is the last one you're going to have to do some significant thinking for. Uh, you want to yeah. go out this room and to the left. Okay. The last thing we need is the lover's card. There will be a heal on the way, don't panic. So, back out to the hallway. Top left. All the way to the end of the hall. Okay. Uh, you want to use the acetone, grab the heel off the table, use that, and then pick up the card. Oh, you have room for it. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Now... All you need to do is go back to the main hall. The dial you need for the next puzzle will be on the floor ready for you. You don't need to do anything with the tarot cards. So, grab that. Um, Just gonna place the dial. Yeah. So, click on Bouillon three, direct, 3 in any direction. Uh, click on Veneta once on the left. Click on the next one once on the right. Wait, Veneta, I thought... No, it's once on the right. Yeah. yeah sorry, once on the right, once on the right. Uh, add the this ring to the front, and then two left all the way around. That one's full. Yeah, two on the left for the last ones. Uh, you have Heimat backwards. Oh. Heimat should match Veneta. Close and enough. now you can hole and grab the king. Oh. So, the only thing between you and going home is Falk. I strongly recommend uh, a couple things. Equip the flare for the first hit. Uh, run around her for a few seconds until she drops her arrows. If you stay closer to her, she'll drop them faster. Uh, once she drops her spears, shoot her with the flare, pick up a spear and equip your submachine gun for the next cycle. All right, so I'm going to want... So you're going to want a flare gun? And my flares. Submachine gun. Flare shells. Flares and compact ammo. And heals. So you're going to want to grab the heals off the counter in this room. Ah, oh, those right there. Yes. Uh, equip the flare gun for the first round. And you're in a good health state, so you don't need to use anything. I do recommend a safety yeah, save. So that way. I, I was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> My first time doing this fight. Yay. Okay. Okay. So general rules of practice. Try If she goes down and there are still spears, aggro her with the submachine gun and just stay on her. So that way she doesn't call her spears back. Right. If she calls her spears back, don't waste your submachine gun ammo. Use the flares to DPS her until she drops them. I've noticed that if you stay close to her, she's more likely to do the move where she uh, goes across the arena and then drops her spears in the AoE as opposed to throwing them at you. So, stay as close to her as you can. Avoid the enemies. Um, submachine gun when she's like got stuff down flares when she does it. Spears. Alright. Grab that. Flare her. Um, aiming system, please. Aiming system. Why are you not working? Joystick? Do you have to use your joystick? Oh, she called him back. That was too slow. That's okay. She'll still go down. You can use them. Equip your submachine gun. You can also, if you pulse the submachine gun, this is why I had you pick up the extra of ammo. Pulse it twice, she'll throw, and then pulse it twice more, she'll go down. Uh, 
grab spear. Mm -hmm. Shoot her again. Nice. You can probably cycle her quickly if you just stay on her like this. Grab spear. Nice. This is where things are going to get a little complicated because of her ads and also her balls. Uh, no, oh, I don't have space. Don't you have better heals in your inventory. I have a shoot her while you can. She's still got a spear down. Oh, she called it back. Damn. Uh, I'm out of weapon ammo. Hold on. Reload. It's over here, right? Yes. Go to your inventory and shoot. <laughs> nice. I love it when she moves out of the darkness so you can see her. Why you gotta be this way? Oh, please. I need to get used to the aiming mechanic. Yeah. Especially since this is really the only combat in the game. Alright, throw your spear. So, this is the one where it gets tricky. You might want to use your flares to DPS her until she drops her spear, because this is the one where she'll more likely throw stuff. I think she just threw it, yeah. No! Give me a spear. You have such good RNG. Please heal. Please heal. <laughs> I'm just tanking the hits, alright? Jeez. I have made that mistake too many times. You can only tank so many people. GG! Your first run is so good. Are you ready to go home? Let's go home. Time is when you click go home. Let's go... Uh, to the top and then to the left. No, it's to the right. No, it's... Top and then left. No. No. <laughs> Use the door, please. Door. Left. Door, please. please. And then up. And then right. And then up. Alright. Time will be when you get through this menu. GG! Yay! Let's go! Sub, one hour, 20 minutes. How does it feel? Feels good. Thank you for driving. Yeah, your uh, IGT is going to be even better. Technically not on my own, so it's not really like a PB, but... Listen, listen. Once I did it. Once I get here, then it's a Once PB. I give you better instructions, like, my navigation wasn't great. <laughs> no, it was good. Um, yeah, we'll probably have to do this, like, one more time. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I think this was pretty good. Thank you for the GGs. We did it. That was quite she a run. She doesn't remember us. We got the right ending. It's a valid run. I mean, I'm not submitting this because I had a guide the whole time, but... <laughs> Listen, there's nothing in the rules that says you can't. I'm just saying. That's true. There's nothing in the rules that says you can't. And you were glitchless. Each. Nothing weird happened. Uh, she touched me. Make us have the sad feelings. She touched my head. Oh my god. Got head pats. So, head? <laughs> so anyway, head? One eleven. Nice. Very nice.